welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I thought in today's video I would share a couple of the things which I have been loving lately, whether it's clothes, makeup, accessories, books, websites, whatever it is, just things that I've been gravitating towards recently and things I've just been using relentlessly. Hopefully this gives you a couple ideas on products to buy or if you're looking for something new to test out. Everything I talk about I will leave in the description box below in case you want to go check it out and buy it for yourself. What I'm going to show you guys is only like a small collection of everything I've been loving lately but I wanted to kind of choose quality over quantity and really show you guys the couple things which have been on the top of my list of things that I've been loving. So if you enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, all my social medias are always in the link down below to keep up with my everyday life every day. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos because I've been loving posting vlogs lately and there is so much more to come but without further ado, let's jump into the video. The first product which I want to share with you guys, which I have been literally obsessed with lately, has been this Princess Polly makeup bag. This makeup bag is actually adorable. I've showed it so many times in my videos, but it's yellow with little purple butterflies on it. And I am obsessed with this. This is like my color aesthetic, which I always use. Like all my friends know me for using yellow and lilac together. It's the color theme of my room. Obviously you can see the Frank Green in the background. I've got the purple bottle and the yellow lid. But when I got this for Christmas last year, I was so over the moon. I found that not just the bag is cute, but the whole idea of having a makeup bag, not just for traveling, but also for your everyday routine, comes in so handy. Because if you're like me and you only have a few makeup products which you use each day, it's so much easier having this than having to always have a drawer. And if you're like me as well, where you like kind of like to move around or you get ready in the morning, you can just bring this with you. If I want to do my makeup in the bathroom, I can just pull this out of my drawer and bring it with me. If I go to a friend's house, if I go traveling, I recently just went to Italy for three weeks and this bag came in so handy because I didn't have to move all my everyday makeup out of my drawers in my room. I already just had this bag packed and ready to go. You don't even have to use this for makeup. You can put your skincare in here, hair accessories, really whatever you would like. I know I'm a dancer so when it comes to dance concert time this would be the perfect bag to put like red lipstick and stuff in and take backstage with you. But I could truly not recommend this enough just for your everyday routine, for traveling, everything basically. I feel like these are super trendy at the moment. I see them all over Pinterest like the quilted makeup bags. My next product which I've been loving lately which is actually makeup. These products are not in order at all so do not think that you're getting like a makeup category then a clothes category. I'm just going to show you randomly whatever I pick up next. But this is a lip gloss from the brand Kiko Milano. I got this when I was overseas traveling in Italy. Kiko is kind of like how Australia has their Mecca. It's like their version of Mecca. It's like their huge makeup store which everyone uses like America. It's like Sephora and this lip gloss is called the Days in Bloom Volumizing Lip Shine. It's this gorgeous pink color. They had so many different shades but I absolutely was drawn to the bottle because the bottle has flowers all around the lid and it's just the most gorgeous thing ever. I was looking for a good lipstick which had an applicator that you could hold because I'm not a big fan of the lip glosses where you have to put your finger in and then put it on your lips. One, I don't like the hygiene around it and two, I hate how afterwards you have the residue on your finger and then you have to like find some way to wipe it off. Whether this was just like the perfect lip gloss, I should have bought more. I kind of regret not buying more. It was 13 euro I believe but I didn't want to like fill my suitcase just up with lip gloss. So I only got one but I feel like I'm going to keep this bottle just as like a memento but also so that when I go buy my next go-to lip gloss I will know which kind of like packaging I like. My next makeup product which I have been loving lately is the Mecca Max Cream Blush. This is their pink cream blush and it's in the shade Candy. I have used this for probably the past like two years. I've still got so much left and I use it every day so I'm honestly surprised although I can see now that I'm probably going to have to get a new one soon. It's starting to reach that like wear or tear condition but it's genuinely been the most reliable blush ever and even if I'm wearing no makeup if I want to feel 
feel just a little bit put together, I put blush on. I think it makes the biggest difference. If there was one product which I could only use for the rest of my life, I'd choose blush. This has been the best cream blush for me because one, it's affordable. I find some of the cream blushes, as I do use it every day, I don't want to spend like $70 on a cream blush if it's going to go really fast. But the Mecca Max one is about $18, which I just think is so reasonable for a makeup product these days. And I love the packaging as well. It's really simplistic. You just take the stick out, roll it up, and then you, I usually put some on like my nose and the tops of my cheeks because I saw a girl say that when you put blush on like your cheekbones, it lifts your face, whether when you put it on your cheeks, it kind of rounds your face. And I think they have so many other shades. I also have their bronzer, which I use, which is in the same format of like a stick. It's just in a different shade. And the bronzer with the blush is just the best combo. Now the next thing which I have been loving and I think is becoming slowly more and more a trend but I just love it for the convenience of it is headbands. I find that the day after hair washing day my hair is so out of control and it's always so frizzy but I don't want to put product in it because then I'll have to wash it again. So these headbands have seriously been a game changer for me. I just pop one of these through my hair, slip it back and then I've got like the nicest hairdo and I've literally put no effort in. They're great on school mornings when I don't want to take forever to get ready in the morning but I want to look nice and put together because I can just put a headband in and I'm done for the day. I love putting them in and straightening my hair. I love putting them in and then curling my hair. I think you can really mix and match and play with them. I got these two as a two pack from Cotton On but I know you can get them from basically anywhere anywhere in the world. Time for a book recommendation. If you hate reading I don't even care because if you read this series you'll probably be turned into a book lover because that's how I felt and that is the Shadow Me series. This is actually my favourite book series of all time but I just finished reading it recently and I thought it would be rude not to add it into this video. I just finished reading Restore Me and Defy Me which are the two follow ons from the first three books. A lot of people think that the Shadow Me series is just a three book series but there are so many other books. I think there's like eight of them. I still need to read the extra books which I can't remember what they're called but they're like small little books which you don't have to read but you can read so I need to buy those and I also need to read the two final books in the series but so far I've read the first five and they're literally amazing if you don't know what the Shadow Me books are it's basically a book series about a girl and she has powers if she touches someone she can kill them and then there's a love interest and there's this government that's taking over the world called the re-establishment and they kind of put her in an asylum because of her powers but it turns out that there's actually other people in the world with her powers so she's not alone and they kind of band together to take over the re-establishment and there's so many twists and turns. The first book is a little slow and I'm really glad I kept reading it because when I first started reading it I was like oh I don't know how I feel about this like she's just like kind of talking about her perspective of being in an asylum and I didn't know whether it was a bit too full on but the end of the first book gets so good so just hang in there. The second and third books were just like amazing and it's the kind of book where you know when you hear someone say I couldn't put a book down and you were like it's a book like obviously like how could a book be that good do you know what I'm saying this is the type of book that you can't put down and I never understood that feeling until I started reading these my next product which I have been obsessed with lately which I've mentioned in the last couple vlogs and I think I did a bit of an unboxing in one of my latest videos of it but that is the original Olaplex hair perfecter I have started using the number three which is to repair and strengthen hair I had found that my hair was just very thin and I wanted to make it a bit thicker Obviously the Olaplex is quite pricey so I just got the small bottle to see if I liked it at first. I got mine from Mecca but I had to order it online because they don't have it in person. But I know like Adore Beauty have it. Olaplex have their own website. I think it might be a bit more expensive on their website but if you do want to like get a package or like look through how it treats your hair and stuff like that their website's probably a really good tool and resource for information. But I've been using this for the past like month. I put it on about a half an hour before I wash my my hair so I have a quick shower dampen my hair put this in and then half an hour later I'll have another shower wash it out double shampoo conditioner and then blow dry my hair and this has literally given me salon hair it literally feels like I've been to the hairdressers when I put this on and I've also had friends and family comment that my hair looks a lot lighter and that I have a lot more natural highlights and then I googled it and apparently a lot of hair colorists use this as a hair brightener they have a lot of different ones they have a shampoo and a conditioner I feel like if you used all three together your hair would just be 
phenomenal. Now coming into winter, I have been loving my satin silk long sleeve pajamas. I don't know why I made that sound so like, like such a long sentence, but I don't even know. I got these from Midnight Mischief for my 16th birthday and they have my initial on the front, which is a little G. Midnight Mischief is a sleepwear company. They're kind of like Peter Alexander, but they're Australian based and they're a lot more affordable, which I love. I actually kind of think their products are a bit better quality too. Like they wash a lot better compared to my sister's Peter Alexander pajamas. I got these in a size four and they're pretty big. So I probably go true to size or a bit smaller if you're gonna order a pair. But obviously for pajamas, you would probably want them to be a bit bigger. But I love these because they're long sleeve and they're long pant. And I feel like I needed just a good pair of winter pajamas. I love how these are white. Like when I'm wearing these to bed, I feel like a princess. I feel so put together. I feel like the key to having a good morning is to wake up in like a matching pajama set. They've just got the navy trim, but on their website, they have so many different colors. I actually have two pairs of their short sleeve satin pajamas. So if you're not a big fan of long sleeves, wearing them to bed or whatever, you can actually get the pants with a short sleeve or you can get shorts and a t-shirt, whichever one. They have so many different pajamas on their website, but I love how you can get your initials engraved. You can get just the start of your first name, your first and last name, or you could get your name like written out on your pajamas, but I personally love the G. And I just think these are so nice. These are also the perfect gift for someone. Going along with the clothes theme, I guess, I have been loving my Stax black set lately. I unboxed this in my recent vlog, but I got the black Stax Define jacket and oh my gosh, it's my favorite thing ever. I have the white Stax Define jacket, but there's something about the black which just hits different. I also got the full length black Stax leggings. I already had a pair of these, but I had had them for about four years and I just wanted another pair that I could alternate between for winter because having one pair of leggings for me, I wanted another pair so I wouldn't have to keep washing them all the time. But considering I've had my other pair for about four years, they literally still look brand new, which I feel like for leggings is really hard. Stax is basically like an Australian activewear brand, kind of like Gymshark and stuff, but I find their pieces are a bit more affordable. I just had to put a new battery in my camera. I just find they have the cutest sets ever and they fit so well. I find their sizing incredible. They go from a 2XS up to like a 2XL, which I feel like with women's clothing, especially activewear, it can be so hard for smaller girls or bigger girls to find activewear that really feels amazing on their body. And Stax does that exact thing. So I have been loving wearing this set to just like work out. This morning I wore it to do Pilates and I feel like nothing motivates you more than a fresh activewear set. I don't know if it's just me, but I love it. My last two products, which I'm going to recommend, which are actually makeup products, First one is this Morphe Filter Effect Concealer. I have never really worn concealer much, but I've recently gotten into it. I got this before I went overseas because that's kind of what sparked my interest. I just like wanted to feel really nice when I was over in Europe. So I got the Morphe one because I went into Mecca and I had no clue what I was looking at. I am not a makeup guru at all. Did not know anything about like the foundations or concealers. And I asked the lady, she was so lovely. And she put this one under my eyes and blended it in and you couldn't even see that I had concealer on me. Like I'm wearing it right now and I feel like it's just not noticeable at all whether some concealers can look really cakey. I'm not sure what my shade was. I think my shade was light four in brackets warm. So that's my go-to concealer lately. And then this has been my go-to mascara. I have always been looking for like a good mascara. Like I feel like it's so hard. I've worn mascara for like the past five years and it's only taken me till this year to find a mascara which I really love. And my mum actually recommended this to me. Super affordable. When it's on sale, it's about $13 at Priceline. And then when it's not on sale, I think it's about $22, which I still think is like pretty good for a mascara these days. And it's called the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Extensions Mascara. This is so good. It's the green CoverGirl bottle if you're going to go into the shops and buy it. But it's the only mascara I've ever used which does not clump my eyelashes. I can use however much I want and the formula is so good and the wand is so good. Now, I do not have the longest lashes in the world but when I heat up my eyelash curler with my hair dryer and then apply this it literally makes my eyelashes look so long so I feel like if you're a girl with super long lashes already this would like be amazing. I've tried to recommend it to my friends but they already have like their go-to mascaras and I'm like but trust me like this one's gonna be so good and they just like haven't tried it yet. I completely 
forgot to add these two things that I've been loving lately in this video, but one of them has been the Tortured Poets Department, which is Taylor Swift's latest album. Even if you aren't a Swifty or not into her music, I actually cannot recommend the album enough. Like, I have not listened to any other music for the past however long the album has been out. And the other thing has been Canva. Canva is an online website which I use to create my thumbnails, Instagram posts, and just anything to do with social media or content creation. It's a free website but you can buy the premium version where you get access to more things. This is not sponsored by Canva by the way. I just genuinely love them and I've gotten a couple of comments on my videos lately saying that you guys have wanted to create your own YouTube channel and if there's one website that I recommend over anything else for thumbnails it would be Canva. But with that all being said, those are like my go-to favourite products lately. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this gave you some inspiration for new things to try out. I know I love watching these videos because I always get like the best present ideas for people. I don't know if that's just me, but I feel like I always come across things where I'm like, oh my god, I should buy that for that person. That would be so good. So whatever you took from this video, I hope it was something good. If you did enjoy, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Once again, all my social medias are in the description box to keep up with my everyday life every day. And I will catch you guys in the next vlog.